Hey, Maker. Picking the right photo editing software can be overwhelming when there are so many options to choose from. In this video, I'm going to share my favorite photo editing softwares for makers, including one that nobody seems to be talking about. And you'll learn three things you should consider before choosing one that is right for you. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole, and I'm a product photography coach teaching makers like you how to take your own high quality product photos that actually attract more customers and make more sales for your product based business. Now, it isn't a secret that my favorite free photo editing app that pretty much does it all is Snapseed. The Snapseed app is owned by Google and it's available on smartphones and tablets. You can also use it on a computer by downloading an Android emulator, but I don't recommend this option as the results tend to be super glitchy and wonky. Snapseed is completely free, meaning there's no upgrade options. I have a complete six part video series on how to use Snapseed and you can check that out by clicking the link up here or grabbing it in the description below. Now, the downside to most free editing apps is that they tend to have limitations when it comes to selective type editing. Most of the tools are automated or just sliders that actually alter the entire photo, and they don't allow for a lot of creative control. I have played with a lot of free editing apps, and Snapseed by far has the most pro tools like non-destructive editing, the curves tool, and it allows you to easily resize your product photos for whatever platform you're using. The downside, it can't do it all like the pro softwares. And I have a lot of makers who actually don't like editing on their smartphones or tablets. So let's say you want to do background removal, or maybe you want to get rid of something in your photo, or you want to selectively change the color of something in your photo. Or maybe you want to create realistic mock-ups for your shop. The first recommendation you will see is Photoshop. But Photoshop comes with a steep learning curve and a very high price point. Not only do you have to pay for it monthly, you are locked into a contract. But over the past few months, I have been playing with a new pro software, and I think it's perfect for makers. While it rivals Photoshop and has all of the pro editing options, I find it easier to navigate and use. And this is coming from a photographer that has been using Photoshop for 20 plus years. But the best thing about it is it's a cheap one-time payment and you can use it on your tablet or your computer. What is this photo editing software that nobody is talking about? It's Affinity Photo 2. Now, if you're editing on your smartphone with Snapseed and this is working out great for you, keep using it. But if you're struggling to edit on your smartphone or your tablet, or if you're hitting limitations and not able to get the results you want, then Affinity Photo 2 might be the editing software for you. As I mentioned, Affinity does rival Adobe products. So you'll notice that Affinity not only has a photo editing software, they have a design software, they've got their photo software, and they have a publisher software. So if you are a graphic designer or you're designing your own designs, Affinity definitely may be the option for you to get you out of that Photoshop monthly payment. Because with Affinity Photo or any of the Affinity products, there is no subscription. At the time of me recording this video, Affinity Photo 2 is offered at a one-time payment of $69.99, or you can get the entire suite, meaning the designer, the publisher, and the photo software for $164.99. Again, that is a one-time payment. You can also buy just an iPad version of Affinity Photo for $18.49. I personally own the Mac version, and the iPad version. But again, you can go with the entire suite of software with a design, photo, publisher, and including iPad for one low price. Once inside Affinity Photo 2, it may look super overwhelming. I promise you, it's not. 
So once you upload a photo in here, all you simply do is go to adjustments. And there's two options for that. You can go over here to layer and create a new adjustment layer. Look at all these editing options here. Or you can go to the right hand corner down here and click adjustments. Same concept. Typically what we're going to do is we at least want to adjust our exposure. So if we go in, we're going to increase or decrease our exposure. Now keep in mind an option like this is going to be like a basic editing tool in Snapseed where it actually alters the entire photo. If we want something a little more advanced, we can go into the curves tool and we can increase our highlights while decreasing our darks and do a little more selective type editing. We can fix the white balance by adjusting the slider here, more blue, more warm. We can go over to this side and easily crop our photo. All we do is go to settings, pick that four, three aspect ratio for Etsy, and let's bring it in. Hit enter. And then when we go to save, we can easily go to file and export it. Selecting the JPEG, we can adjust those pixel dimensions for Etsy, 2667 by 2000 and export that photo. It really can be that simple to use. So if you're just starting out, it has some of the basic editing options, but maybe you wanna do some more advanced editing options. So with the background selected, let's say I wanna come in and I wanna clean up this line a little bit here. I'm gonna select the clone stamp tool. We're gonna zoom in here. We're going to select our point that we want to clone. And then we're just going to tap it in there. And we're going to make this line a little more seamless. Now, before you pick a photo editing software, there are three things to consider before you decide which one might be right for you. The first thing you need to think about is how do you like to edit? Do you like to edit on a smartphone, a tablet, or a computer? I have a lot of students inside the Maker's Method who don't love editing on small screens. So they prefer to use a larger tablet or their computer. Second, does it do everything you need it to do? While most makers can get away with just being able to adjust their exposure, resize their product photos, make sure the color temperature is right, I have some makers inside the makers method who need more advanced options, like the cloning option to remove elements. They need background removal. Maybe they are creating their own mock-ups and they need a software that's going to do it in a professional way. And third, you want to think about price point. I actually have a lot of students inside the makers method that are transitioning from Adobe products to Affinity Photo because it's one time payment. They no longer are going to have to be stuck in that contract or continue to pay a monthly payment for the software they're using. I am all about getting the results you need in the most convenient and cheapest way possible. And I'm going to tell you, Affinity Photo is where it's at. While I can do most of my editing in Snapseed, there are certain things it just does not do well, like the healing tool. I get a lot more accuracy using the clone tool inside of Affinity. And maybe you'll like using both photo editing softwares as well. If you have questions about Affinity Photo 2, drop them in the comments below and I'll get them answered. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about taking your own high quality product photos. See you next time.